I want to clear a few things up about the 24th of August, this coming Saturday. Tommy cancelled the demonstration. He heard what had been happening on the outside. He heard about the way the police had been behaving. He heard about what happened on the 3rd, where the left were marched up to the demonstration. And obviously there was a reaction. And he has shown leadership. Sometimes leaders have to make difficult decisions. He has shown leadership. And he, he said very, very clearly, he did not want people ending up in prison because he knows the ramification for people from our movement that get sent to prison. It is not like a normal prison sentence. If you're arrested on a Tommy demo and you end up in prison and that prison happens to have a high Muslim population, you're in big trouble. Tommy does not want people getting sent to prison as a result of these demonstrations. And people were arrested for a fray on the last uh, demonstration. A fray carries a two to three year prison sentence. We do not want our people getting fitted up and arrested for serious offences because they've gone to a demonstration that's been policed badly. So that's leadership. That is not backing down, that is leadership. However, this must be said as well, that the whole of Tommy's team, including Tommy, are encouraging people to take part in demonstrations, static demonstrations, totally legal and, and, and peaceful static demonstrations whenever they want, especially on the 24th. They just won't be done officially from Tommy's team because if they're done officially from Tommy's team, the numbers will be far greater. If they're done officially from Tommy's team, they will be policed in a certain way. So what we are doing is we are encouraging people to exercise their absolute right to do static protests. And I've got to make that clear. It was made very clear in the first video, but I've got to make it clear again. We want people to protest on the 24th. And actually on that um, subject, I have heard from some patriots that have been on this journey for the last two or three years. Um, they are organising a demonstration. Out, or they've called for a demonstration outside the BBC at one o'clock on... Saturday the 24th, 1 o'clock, Central London, the BBC, um, just off Regent Street, Portland Place. There's going to be a static, peaceful demonstration at 1 o'clock out outside the BBC. And I personally think anybody that's in London that, that, that was going to come for Tommy's demonstration, if you're in London, please go to that one. Because that demonstration is going to be about exactly the same things. It's going to be about freedom of speech, freedom of assembly, it's going to be about the, the bias and the, and the brainwashing of the BBC. And of course, it's going to be about freeing Tommy as well. It's not an official free Tommy demo. It's on lots of different subjects. But patriots have got together and decided to do that this Saturday, the 24th at one o'clock outside the BBC. And I personally think that's a great idea. And I think if, if I was in London this Saturday, I would be at that demonstration. So go for it. So where do we go from here? Basically, we need to make sure that our demonstrations are policed differently because we can't have a situation where we've got our people getting arrested and detained because there's been a provocation, because the, the, the protest has been handled so, so badly by the police. And that is a key, key issue in all this. We've got to make sure that, um, that these protests pass off peacefully and pass off lawfully. And we attract people from a very, very diverse background. I mean, we're, we're still saying for this weekend, if, if, you're, if you're elderly, disabled or children, Please don't go to these demonstrations because we, we really do think that there will be police badly and there'll be danger. However, if you're able-bodied and you really want to go to demos, there's one there for you. One o'clock outside the BBC. Now, I hope this isn't confusing because it it's really couldn't be simpler. Tommy's official demonstration has been cancelled, and I think very, very wisely. But there are demonstrations being run by Patriots on Saturday the 24th that we're not actually involved in but we'll promote them. So Saturday, one o'clock 
outside the BBC. Not an official Tommy demo, but there'll be Tommy people there. There'll be people who have got an axe to grind against the BBC. There'll be people there who are concerned about freedom of speech, freedom of assembly, and all those big important issues. And of course, like we always say, make sure that the demonstration is peaceful. Um, so that's it. I'm not gonna say any more on, on this issue other than to say that I absolutely 100% believe that the decision Tommy took to cancel the official demonstration was the right one, but also that I believe that people should go and lawfully demonstrate outside the BBC at one o'clock this Saturday. And again, make it a great demonstration. It's a, it's a good place to demonstrate. It's an iconic building. Um, there's a lot of poison gone on in that building down through the years. And it's, it's about time that the, the BBC heard the voices of the people and listened to the voice of the people. So I think that's a great idea. So that's it. Uh, one o'clock outside the BBC this Saturday. Um, and I'm sure once that demo is over, there may be other demos, there may be other things going on, but that's the main event. One o'clock at the BBC this Saturday. Um, just get there and, and enjoy the demo and then have a, a great bank holiday weekend. Enjoy the bank holiday weekend after that. Make sure it stays peaceful and within the law. And when people make decisions, they make them for very good reasons. They're not making decisions lightly. And a decision to pull a demo is a big call. And like I say, Tommy did the right thing. And I hope, I hope that, um, that people will see that and that people that are backbiting and doing a bit of backstabbing really catch themselves on and realize that there's very, very good reasons when these decisions, when these decisions are made. Okay, see you all soon. Have a have a great one. And if you can get to the demo on um, on Saturday, get there at one o'clock um, outside the BBC.